People often tell me that mine was a dull life. Well, maybe. Looking after sheep is much the same each day. But many people have never seen the lambs play and leap, have never sat quiet on a hill and watched the sun or the moon. I love to watch the night sky, the moon and the stars. Once I saw at night a sight very few have seen, just once, but once was enough for anybody. I live with my parents not far from Jerusalem and I was one of a group of shepherds who looked after the sheep owned by the temple. Sheep for temple services have to be perfect and a great many are bred for food too. We, our group, generally worked at night. On this night I'm talking about, we've met up where we usually did, on the side of quite a big hill. We'd had a bite to eat and drink and were sitting talking. Around us are hundreds of sheep. Very restful and pleasant, those talks at night. It was a dark night. Then there was a sort of stillness and a feeling of change, of difference. We all felt it. I had a friend called Simon and he first noticed what the change was. It was the light. There was a sort of paleness. It was a dark night, but suddenly it wasn't so dark. We began to see each other's faces very clearly in a sort of silvery, shimmering light. We seemed surrounded and enclosed by a great glow. It was the purest light I ever saw. The sheep were white as snow. Then, as our eyes began to ache with it, just further up the hill from us, the glow seemed to intensify and take shape, and we saw a man, like us, but not like us, taller, stiller, though we were still enough, God knows. He looked at us, and we looked at him. We waited for him to speak. It didn't seem right, we all felt it, for any of us to speak first. He took his time, as though to trying to find the right words, and then he began to tell us what he called good news of great joy, of a newborn baby, born in David's town, a baby sent by God to save the world, to change things, to make things better. He told us where to go to find the baby and how to recognize him and to tell other people the good news. His own pleasure in telling us filled us with joy too. We shared his pleasure, if you follow me. Then he stopped speaking and became two, then four, then eight, and in a second there seemed to be a million like him, right up the hill and on up into the sky, a million. And they sang to us. Glory to God in the highest, they sang, and on earth peace, goodwill towards men. It was wonderful. It came to an end, and then they were gone, every single one. And we felt lonely and lost. Then Samuel, who is the eldest of us, said, Come on, let's go and find the baby. David's town, the angel said, Bethlehem, in a manger, in swaddling clothes. And off we went. We ran, we sang, we shouted. We were important. We'd been chosen. We were special. We were on a search. We had to find a baby. And we did find him. We were led there. There was no searching. We were led, and we saw for ourselves. Not much to see, perhaps. A young mother and her husband and their newly born baby, born in a stable, 
because all the inns were full. Poor people they were, the man was a carpenter. Well, we did as we'd been told. We spread the word, and people did get excited, but not for long. Nothing lasts. We shepherds were heroes for a while, but then everyone knew the story. It was old news. Soon we were just shepherds again, doing a dull job. But we were different from all the rest. We'd had that night. I don't talk about it much anymore, but it keeps me warm. I was there.